I am glad to welcome you to the Auto Problems channel. 10th place Smart Roadster, 2003 to 2006. At first, this car was not considered a failure at all. On the contrary, the volumes of its production exceeded the plant plans twice. But soon countless warranty claims began, which cost Smart, already in not the best condition, almost 3,000 euros per car. Considering that the margin for the sports roadster, in order to keep an acceptable price, was laid at only 1%, it soon became clear that something had to be sacrificed so as not to slide into a financial abyss. Without spending money on fine-tuning the model, they decided to simply remove it from production. The number of copies produced is 43,091. 9th place Chevrolet SSR, 2003-2006. The beginning of the 21st century was perhaps the most carefree time for General Motors in recent years. Sometimes insane projects were introduced into production. It was enough for the next concept car to collect a little standing ovation at the Detroit Auto Show, as it was almost immediately given the green light for the conveyor. Pickup SSR is just one of them. Surprising at an exhibition is one thing, but captivating buyers is quite another. And who, tell me, needs a folding top pickup truck, equipped with a Chevrolet Corvette engine, and even for $42,000? Already a year after the start of production, such a stock of ready-made SSRs accumulated in the warehouses of the company that they could be sold out in 10 months at best. So for the next couple of years, the small batch plant in Lansing, Michigan, whose only model was the SSR, worked with frequent breaks to unload warehouses. And in 2006, the company was closed altogether. From the serial exclusive General Motors refused forever. The number of copies produced is 24,112. 8th place Citroen C6. 2005 to 2012 a clear example of the fact that a company that has left the class of prestigious cars is unlikely to be able to return there in the european market where the hegemony of german brands already reigns the strict rule knows no exceptions after phasing out the big xm in 2000 citroen tried its luck in the segment again after five long years initial plans were optimistic 20,000 cars a year but it soon became clear that the buyers of the expensive citroen simply died out as a class those who remembered XM went to competitors, the rest simply did not perceive the brand as the personification of prestige. The result, in seven years, slightly more copies of the C6 were produced than they once planned to sell in a year. For comparison, Renault Velsatis sold three times as many copies over the same period, despite its more than controversial appearance. But there is nothing to say about the Peugeot 607, about 200,000 cars sold. The number of copies produced is 23,384. Seventh place launch at Thesis, 2002 to 2009. Another victim of reckless self-confidence. Creating the launch of Thesis business sedan, the Fiat Group spared no expense. Faith in Italian design, and in God, after all, the prototype of the model called Dialogus was presented to the Vatican, was great. It would be logical to use the Alfa Romeo 166 platform for the novelty, but preference was given to the original chassis with multi-link aluminum suspensions. Investments amounted to 405 million euros, but they expected to quickly recoup, selling up to 25,000 cars annually. Alas, the miracle did not happen. More or less major customers turned out to be only Italian government agencies and taxi drivers, to whom thesis was sold at a big discount. And after the attempt to pass off the Chrysler models as Italian ones failed, the famous brand itself with more than 100 years of history will apparently become a thing of the past. The number of copies produced is about 16,000. Sixth place Renault Aventime, 2001 to 2003. This car also started its journey as a concept car, the star of the 1999 Geneva International Motor Show. But when it became serial, there were very few people who wanted to try on a model that combines the spaciousness of a compact van with the exclusivity of a coupe. Indeed, there was almost no practical sense in Aventime, large, spacious, but there are only four separate places in it. The engine in the top version seems to be powerful, a V6 with 207 forces, but the handling due to the high body and specific chassis settings did not pull on the sports one. The sluggish sales of Aventime brought difficulties to the Matra company, which took a contract from Renault to produce an unusual car. The problem was solved by removing it from production. Perhaps, then came the sunset of the career of Renault chief designer Patrick Lecaymon. It became obvious that the master was going in the wrong direction at all, there was definitely no smell of market success in those distances. The number of copies produced is 8,557. Fifth place Cadillac BLS, 2005-2009. They say it was the idea of Robert Lutz, the auto industry guru who had just moved from Chrysler to General Motors to become vice president of global development. 
the idea seems to be not bad, to use the capacities of the Swedish Saab, which is constantly working at a loss, to release some new model based on existing ones. Say, Cadillac, because he does not have a small car, created specifically for Europe. And then Saab will receive additional orders, and Cadillac, a new model cheaply. But, apparently, by that time, Lotz clearly did not understand what the consumer really wants, and too little money was allocated for reworking the Saab. As a result, the car looked like a Cadillac only from the outside, inside it was still the same Saab 9-3. The Europeans were perplexed, why overpay for the inappropriate pathos of the American brand, when exactly the same, but much more intelligent in appearance, Saab is available for less money. The number of copies produced is 7,356. Fourth place Acura ZDX, 2009 to 2013. Speaking about this model, we can recall the catchphrase, what is allowed to Jupiter is not allowed to the bull. Acura, the luxury division of Honda, was jealous of the success of the BMW X6. The Bavarians were the first to take a risk and, as it turned out, won by introducing a five-door all-terrain luxury coupe on the market. The Japanese decided to follow them, but something did not work out for them. American buyers, namely, the new ZDX model was addressed to them, did not notice the novelty point blank. The MDX platform crossover with a more traditional design sold 15 times better. If we talk about a direct competitor, the BMW X6, then at a much higher price, even in the best years for the ZDX, it outperformed it in sales twice. And all because Acura buyers are non-aggressive by nature, they don't need a BMW or the strange ZDX for them. It turns out that the tastes of your customers need to be studied better, then you won't have to be upset because of unsuccessful experiments. The number of copies produced is 5,677. Third place Lincoln Blackwood, 2001 to 2002. At the turn of 1990 to 2000, the crazy fashion for pickups swept America, turning them into an element of urban chic. Immediately they began to say that now luxury brands will roll out something pickup-like. Lincoln was the first to decide, whose Blackwood concept had been shown in Detroit a couple of years earlier and seemed to appeal to the public. But it quickly became clear that there were not so many people who wanted to buy a black, other colors were not offered, monster in a single version for $52.5,000. The original practicality of a pickup truck in Blackwood has been reduced to zero. The cargo platform has been turned into a luxurious chest with a servo liftable lid, finished in ebony on the outside and sheathed in stainless steel on the inside. Drive left only rear. That is, you can only show off on this pickup truck, it was no longer suitable for anything else. At the same time, the interior trim differed little from the usual Ford F-150, on which the Lincoln muzzle was simply hung. The outcome is natural, the latest cars were sold at a big discount. The number of copies produced is 3,356. Second place Saab 94X, 2011. The bankruptcy of the Swedish company, which General Motors had abandoned just a year earlier, put an end to the Saab crossover, which had been hatched for several years. The car was born in pain. The first option, based on Subaru Tribeca, was practically brought to the assembly line, but then the American concern ceded its stake in Subaru to the Japanese Toyota. The joint project was frozen in order to reorient it to the Cadillac SRX platform after some time. Then the Saab itself got away with it, but the Americans did not refuse to cooperate with its new owner, the Dutch Spiker. The first 94X crossovers rolled off the assembly line at General Motors in Mexico in the summer of 2011. But a few months later Saab's owners wanted to sell their recent acquisition to the Chinese group Youngman. Fearing that the latest developments would float away to no one knows where, GM stopped licensing the Swedes. As a result, both the new 9-5 sedan and the barely launched 94X crossover have become history, without even having time to really show themselves on the market. The number of copies produced is 573. First place Aston Martin Signet, 2011 to 2013. By 2012, the British supercar manufacturer needed to urgently reduce the average emissions of toxic substances for the model range, otherwise there would be a fine. An unusual solution was found, to introduce a tiny car with minimal toxicity into the program so that its excellent performance would help reduce the arithmetic mean. There is no time to create a car from scratch, they took a ready-made Toyota IQ and disguised it as an Aston with generous restyling and rich finishes. It was planned to sell no less than 4,000 Signets per year, and at the same time limiting sales at first, the novelty was available only to Aston Martin's previously held buyers as a second car. But all these precautions were useless. In two years of production, 
Only one and a half hundred people agreed to pay triple the price of a Toyota for the same car, only slightly modified in Britain. The number of copies produced is 143. That's all for me. Thank you all for your attention. I will be very grateful to you if you subscribe to the channel. See you soon.